If you can tell me the name of this animal. Sharman Robinson was diagnosed with Alzheimer's three years ago. And that's uh, one of those, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it affects her language skills and she often struggles to find words. Oh, I don't know it, but I can't say it. Earlier this year, Sharman was in the middle of receiving an experimental drug when a consultant ran in to say its trial was being stopped immediately. American company Biogen pulled their drug, aducanumab, because they thought it wasn't working, devastating hopeful patients. Did you feel it was working? Yes, I, th I, 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 yes, I did. After taking a closer look, it was found some patients had benefited when given the drug in high doses. I think it made a difference. She's still the person I was married to for 35 years. It would be the biggest thing that's happened in Alzheimer's ever. The drug still needs approval from America's FDA and even then it could be some time before it's available in Australia. But it's good news for around 100 Australians who were part of the trial before it was halted. They will be given the opportunity to go back on the drug for free. This is an amazing paradigm shift. Uh, I've talked about breakthroughs over many years, but I really feel confident that we are very close to a breakthrough. Any successful drug treatment could be worth billions of dollars in annual sales. So medical regulators will be scrutinising Biogen's as yet unpublished trial data. They'll be very cautious indeed, relatively immature data. They'll be looking incredibly closely at that. Come back think, yeah. If the drug does pass all the hurdles, it could result in a better quality of life for Alzheimer's patients and their families. Jenny Lavelle, ABC News.